water is so warm, so I've just been lapping it up. So yeah, we'll jump back in the car and we'll keep on cruising. Hey guys, so I have been in a place called Coral Bay and it has been absolutely beautiful. I've just been relaxing, I've been snorkeling, did a bit of fall driving and yeah, just chilled out. So I'll share with you guys a little bit of footage of what I've been up to the last few days. If you're an OG subscriber, you would know that I can't actually like swim in cold water because I'll just pass out. Well, we are now above the Tropic of Capricorn, which means the water is so much warmer, which means I can swim. And there's actually no crocodiles in this area as well. So that makes it even better. All right, so we're now gonna drive to Anes Campground, which is about an hour and a half north of here. And we've just pulled up to the start of someone's station. So you're gonna drive through the station and then we'll end up at the beach on the other side. the worst road it is so corrugated and goes for about an hour but we've only got about 15 kilometers left probably should have put the tires down a little bit but maybe we'll do that on the way back a little trick with corrugation the faster you go the less you feel it but then you probably have a higher chance of actually popping a tire <laughs> Alright, we made it. We've just pulled up to camp and yeah, this is the site we're working with and it is literally so close to the ocean. It's like right there. So I drove along the beach to get here, but because we're so close, I may as well just set up here and then we'll just wander over there soon.
So I've been swimming literally all afternoon because that water is so warm. So I've just been lapping it up. I'm also convinced that like 90% of people that live in WA have a boat and I can really see why. Like it is so clear there. I can only imagine what it would look like even further out. But the sun is almost on its way down and clouds are starting to roll in actually. I don't know if we're going to get a really nice sunset, but I will see you guys in the morning. another absolutely beautiful day here we went for a bit of a morning swim and then went for a walk along the beach and there is just so many cool shells around we've packed up camp and now we're going to head to the next spot which i actually don't know 100 percent where it is and there's no service but we'll figure that out soon i also did want to mention on the 20th of this month which is like two weeks away in the town of Exmouth, which is just down the road there's a solar eclipse and the moon is going to completely cover the sun for a total of 62 seconds so it'll be light It'll be dark for that time and it'll come back light again, which is crazy. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be up here then. I'm going to be back down in Perth because my mum and little sister are coming to visit. But I will get it on film down there because it's still going to be 72% coverage. And I'm just so fascinated by that. Has anybody else seen that before? Like, I don't think that's a common occurrence. But yeah, I'll pop it in an episode down the track. But yeah, we'll jump back in the car and we'll make our way to our next spot. This whole area is just so sick. So it's pretty much just campground after campground and there's just little turn offs that go towards the beach. So yeah, we just keep driving up until we get to the next one. I think it was about 40 k's up and then we're pretty close to Exmouth then. So yeah, we'll jump back in the car and we'll keep on cruising. We have made it to the campground and today is actually the first day of school holidays here in Western Australia. So tomorrow is Good Friday and then Sunday is Easter Sunday. So there are a few other people around and you can also access this road or this campground by two wheel drive sort of main road. So yeah, it's a little bit busy, but that's okay. We can manage that. The beach is literally just over there and it is so hot today and that water looks so nice. So we'll venture over there now and check it out.
So you're not allowed to fly drones in here like at all. I'm not really 100% sure why, but there's heaps of signs around saying it. So I figure instead of showing you guys the ocean from the sky, I'd show you from underneath the sea. And yeah, it was really nice to go snorkeling there actually. There wasn't as much coral as I thought. There was a bit more weeds, but still saw some fish and yeah, it was nice to go for a swim. Also, was that a puffer fish? I don't really have a lot of knowledge on fish species, but to me, it looked like a puffer fish. Let me know if you know. But yeah, I'm just gonna chill out now until the sun sets. So we've been out bush for about a week now and I did just take my last sip of water, which is really not ideal, but luckily I have an emergency kit. And in the emergency kit, I've got 10 liters of water, essential food, like the stuff that doesn't need to be refrigerated and a first aid kit. So if you're traveling, I really think that you should have that because I did not plan for that at all. Like I generally thought I had enough water. So I'm gonna have to go into it and grab some and I'll just have to remember to restock it because if I actually need that in the future, I'll be kicking myself. So I'm heading a little bit further up north tomorrow to a town called 